Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. It is Sunday, uh, January 8th, 2017. Giving you a quick update on what's going on in the tent. Some of the new things I got going on and upcoming and what we're going to be doing to kind of restructure the tent a little bit. Um, now that I actually thought about it, unfortunately, I actually filled everything up with water already. As you can see, these are... Uh, these are pre-filled already. I already put some water in there. Basically, all you got to do is turn this little knob. So, for example, uh, right here, if I was to turn this, we're all ready to go. Actually, reduce the light a little bit so you can see a little better. But uh, basically, I'm I'm getting started for a completely new grow. Okay, down below, <laughs> I still have. The broccoli plant. It's bro broccoli plants. I mean, God, it's so big. Um, but I have to keep it going. I have to see an end result. I need to see what happens and what comes out of this little thing right here. Okay? It's There's definitely one, two. So there's three here. There's three here. And um, one of them is super promising. Actually, there's... Is there four? Yeah, there is actually four, but the stalk isn't that big on some of them. I mean, this one's so big, it's incredible, and it is so thick. I can't believe broccoli grows like this. You know, a lot of people don't realize, I never realized, how large these leaves get. And why, why is it that when I do that, this little white residue kind of comes off? That's weird. It's weird to me. Um... So these are still coming along, but for the new grow, okay, I got these new two uh, two buckets that are about to uh, get these plants right here. We have uh, nine basils, and unfortunately, I have ten uh, romaine lettuces. Let me just give you a close up of my uh, little basil. Beautiful, a little bit of that romaine lettuce. I'm really going to be focusing on stuff that I eat for now on. Uh, I'm going to be doing some experiments like that, but not too many. Uh, probably in the next day or so, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna jack this up, maybe about uh, just about this much. Okay, get it to the the normal length, uh, the the normal height of what I used to have. It's just it's not so much. I actually raised it down because I was growing such large things, such as those uh, broccoli plants. And I had, if you actually go to look at my previous videos, I actually had that huge thing of cucumber. I took all that out. It was just getting way too messy. We'll try that again in a different tent. But this tent, I really want to stick to different types of lettuces and, and, and herbs and stuff like that. And, and, and plants that are consumed quicker, that grow within like the 30 day range. So one of these reservoirs is going to get the basils. The second one is going to get the romaines. I actually have four, four new things that are um, currently in the germination stage. And I will be updating you next week on what I have going in. I have a, a new lettuce. It's beautiful. It's like huge red head lettuce. It's, it's unbelievable. I can't wait to taste it. It looks lovely. I have several different basils. I'm, I'm, I'm very fond of basils that are different colors also. I have like a dark purple one. I have this like rosy one which is like beautiful pink. I'm excited to see what they taste like, what they look like, what they smell like. I'm going to be putting some uh, maybe sage in here just to kind of get that amazing smell of sage. I'm going to be getting some mint. Um, probably start growing some spinach. I've got some spinach seeds. And um, so I'm really excited for that. Um, let me go ahead and start putting these into the reservoir. All right, so as you can see here, I have now filled my reservoirs. Um, kind of sped up the process for you there. So on the left-hand side, I have all my basils, as you can see. And on the right here, I have my romaine lettuce. They look great. They really do. And if you've ever grown basil, it's wonderful. You just kind of touch it right here, just on the top, and smell your finger, and it is incredible. It's a, it's a lovely basil smell. If you're a basil lover, these are just fantastic. A lot of people are always, uh, you know, commenting. Uh, a decent amount of comments uh, go about... What do you need the air pumps for? I don't know. Your body. What is it near air for? It's air because it's, it's, the oxygen is good. 
The oxygen's good for the plants. And also, listen, there's other ways that people have grown indoors, okay? This is the way that I do it, and this is the way that I know how to do it. And this is the most easiest and convenient way for individuals to do a small grow indoors. People talk about cracky systems. Cracky system is not easy. It, you need a system that basically uh, uplifts water to the roots and then drains itself. There's a lot of different methods out there to grow plants indoors. But hydroponically, with one single pump, with a few reservoirs, some small pods and some seeds and a light, this is the most convenient, most efficient, most productive, and simplest way to get hydroponic set up inside your home. Okay? This is the new grow. This is what it looks like. So I got my two, uh, you know, I got my two, uh, two uh, reservoirs set up right there. And um, as you guys know, I could fit three across the entire way here. And I'm considering what else to do. I'm, I'm really going to be focusing on a lot of different um, herbs and lettuces. I want to have like five different lettuces at all times. It's just, it actually gets time consuming, guys. If this looks easy to you, I, uh, you know, I sh rest assured it's not easy. Okay, because um, when these are all done and, you're, and you've eaten all your lettuces, you have to clean these net cups. You have to take this reservoir to maybe an additional sink. Do you have an additional sink? Do you have a sink other than the one where you wash your dishes? You got to take this thing. It's going to be kind of cruddy inside. You got to take it. You got to wash it. You got to clean it. You got to dry it. And then when it's ready again, you put it on the side here. Or I mean, you, you know, you set it all up and you get going again. Okay, it's not, a, it's not a simple process, but it is very doable. Now, I have a video on my channel that's an hour long showing you a step-by-step -step A to Z process on how to go about creating your own reservoirs, germinating seeds, every single utensil that you will need, every single type of piece of equipment that you will need to have your own indoor grow. I'm going to be getting an, uh, an additional tent sometime soon. I don't know when. It's not going to be in a week. It's not going to be in three weeks. Maybe in six weeks. I don't know but very soon. I'm going to go ahead and create, an, uh, one video is going to be dedicated to creating a reservoir and I will show you that. Our community here at Grow Indoors 365 on YouTube is growing every single day. We're getting a lot of new people that are continuously subscribing because they want to learn, they want to see somebody else growing indoors and they want to mimic that same change in their life. They want to be able to go to a tent inside their house, rip a few greens off, and have them for dinner and I understand that because I was one of those guys too. It took me over a year and a half to get to this phase right here. Let me take a step back and show you guys what this looks like. If you guys are new to this channel, this is my grow tent. It's a multi it's a multi-tier grow light tent. I have two down below here. I had one in here at one point and I have one light that actually has four lights right up top here. All right. I'm offering you guys some guidance. I'm offering you guys some motivation on going about doing this. And besides all that, I'm giving you the most important thing, the knowledge that I've obtained over the little while. It's been, what, maybe a year, maybe two years. Yeah, it's about a year and a half that I've been doing this. It took me a year and a half to get the guts to set this all up and get started. Because I was first starting out with some wheatgrass, and it just wouldn't work. I don't know why it just would not work for me. But finally... I um, read some information, and it was just all based on trial and error. All trial and error. I tried germinating. It worked. I said, that's incredible. I watched hundreds of videos on YouTube on how to go about doing this. Also, you know, how do you go about setting up the lights, keeping the lights on 18 hours a day? It's very important. How do you keep your cats out of the tent? My cats love going into the tent, chomping on some plant. Nobody wants that. But listen... This is my current setup. I want to thank you all for watching. This is our, uh, you know, first uh, 2017 update on the Grow Indoors 365 tent. This is what it looks like right now. There's great things up ahead. Okay, when I say that, I'm very motivated to do a lot of great things for you guys and show you different types of growing. And what I mean by that is I want to grow indoor peppers. I want to grow more cucumbers. At least I'm going to try again on the cucumber phase. I'm going to grow a lot of different variations. I might even grow some flowers indoors. I don't know. But it's all based on how much time I could dedicate to this. You know, it's not like I'm getting paid here. I'm doing this because I actually love doing this. I was, um, I became capable of doing this consistently. 
Okay, as you can see, my, my method never fails. It always works, especially my germination, the way that I germinate my seeds. A few special little hits, may I say, literally, the way that I tap certain seeds and do certain things, it works every single time flawlessly. Watch my one hour video. It's got over 30, I think it's got like 33,000 views in the last seven months. Now down below you're gonna find a subscribe button. Okay, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel because I upload videos every single week and I show you updates on what's going on, what I'm using, how I'm doing it, and how my plants are progressing throughout the week. I hope to see you guys here again. Keep on watching. Make sure you give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure you share this video on Facebook or anywhere else that you might find your family or friends that would like to see something like this too and like to experience hydroponics indoor growing. Again, thank you all for watching Grow Indoors 365 on YouTube. This is Mike. Have a great week up ahead.